This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS applications. Get 30% off by being first 200 sign up. Get the link in the description. Hey everyone, welcome back to Educate WordPress. On this channel, we talk everything about WordPress. And today, we're going to add Progress Tracker to our WordPress website. Progress Tracker tells the viewer or user how much content there is left to read or consume. It may encourage users to follow the page to the end. We can add Progress Tracker using the Progress Tracker widget available in Elementor Pro. You can get Elementor Pro by heading over to the link in the description and completing your purchase on Elementor Pro website since it is a paid plugin. Now let's head over to Elementor and start adding our progress tracker. Search for progress tracker in here and you will see the progress tracker widget. I'm going to add it to the end in a new section so as you can see a progress tracker is working whenever we scroll now let's make this section sticky so that it appears on top of our content let's head over to advanced tab go to motion effects and click on sticky to the bottom so as you can see our progress tracker has ticked to the bottom. Now there are settings that you can change. You can change the tracker type to circular or the default horizontal. You can also change what the progress is relative to. It is the post content or a selector which is CSS selector. If you have added CSS, you can add selector element. You can, you can use the selector. I'm going to use the entire page. You can change the direction, whether the tracker will go to the left or to the right. The default is left. Let's change it to the right. So as you can see, the progress tracker is going towards the right. You can also add percentage if you want to show it. So as you can see, percentage is being shown. Let's go to style. And here you can change the progress color. As you can see. You can change the border type and border radius in here as well. You can change the tracker background. I'm going to set it to transparent. So as you can see, whenever I set transparent background, it doesn't bother my content that much. And here you can change the height as well. You can change the port. You can change the typography and other things of percentage here. So let's see what we can do in the circular tracker type. 
which is kind of my choice since it's small and sticks to the side of the page let's head over to content and change the tracker type to circular so as you can see a circular tracker has been added I'm going to change the alignment to right so that it appears here. This looks good. We can also add a bit of width to the circular tracker. Looks better. And we can also change the size of the circle as well. So if you want to add a larger circle, you can do that. And in this way, you can add progress tracker to a WordPress website. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like if you find this video useful and subscribe. Thank you.